Nowadays, we're working with multiple devices and we need our headphones to blend into our dynamic lives. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your XM4 headphones to two devices simultaneously and how you can easily move from one device to another. And before we start, this channel is great reviews and step-by-step -step tutorials to help you to make the most out of your products. So make sure you're subscribing to this channel so you won't miss anything. And without further ado, let's start. Welcome to Levin's Review, my name is Ruth and thank you so much for joining us. The first step is to connect between your headphones to your smartphone. And if you have any trouble with the process, click here to watch the step-by-step -step tutorial created just for you. And now let's continue. After the headphones of the smartphone are connected successfully, go to Sony Headphones app and choose System tab and turn on Connect to Devices Simultaneously and then confirm your choice. Bluetooth disconnected. The Bluetooth connection will reboot and now wait until the process completes. Bluetooth connected. Under the status tab, you will find devices currently being connected. The first device is your smartphone and now we need to connect the secondary device. You can connect the XM4 headphones to smartphone, PC, laptop and any device that supports Bluetooth. For the demonstration, we are going to connect the headphones to Samsung S72, which is amazing on budget smartphone and click up here to watch the review of the device. Click the right arrow to add second device. Down here is the list of all paired devices. If you connect your device for the first time, go to your device and open Bluetooth connection. Then go back to app, click on plus button at the bottom of the screen. When a pop-up message appears suggesting you to connect to your headphones, press the connect button and wait until the process is completed. In the end, you will receive message that the process is completed successfully. Bluetooth device 2 connected. And now you can see the secondary device. But don't worry, you don't need to repeat the whole process once again. When you disconnect the headphones from your device, this device will be saved in the paired devices list. So the next time, you need to choose your device and the connection process will be set automatically. Great, now your headphones connected to two devices. And now let's see how it works and how you can switch between the devices. By default, you will hear content from your main device where the app is installed. To move to Samsung A72, stop playing the content on the first device or close it. And start playing content on Samsung A72. And of course, to go back to your main device, pause your content on Samsung A72 and activate the content on the default device. That was easy and efficient, right? Now let's see how it's done on macOS. To connect the headphones to Mac, we need to disconnect from the current secondary device. So press on secondary device and confirm your choice. Bluetooth device 2 disconnected. As you can see, MacBook is not on the paired devices list. So to pair your MacBook for the first time, go to your Mac, choose system preferences, press on Bluetooth and click turn Bluetooth on. Return to the app and click on the plus button at the bottom of the screen. Your headphones will send broadcasting signals to your devices. When XM4 headphones are discovered on your Mac, press the connect button. In the end, you will receive message that the process is completed successfully. Bluetooth device 2 connected. And now you can see your Mac as a secondary device. And don't worry, you don't need to repeat the whole process once again. When you disconnect Mac from the headphones, Mac will be saved in the paired devices list. Bluetooth device 2 disconnected. So the next time, you need to choose your Mac and the connection process will be set automatically. Bluetooth device 2 connected. To move from the default device to your Mac, pause the content or close the device and play the content on Mac. To return to your default device, pause or close the content on Mac and play the content on your default device. But what happens if somebody calls you while you are watching content on your secondary device? Your headphones will automatically switch to your phone and you can immediately answer your phone call. After you finished working with the secondary device, I recommend turning off the connection to the two devices from the system tab. 
If you keep the feature activated, your headphones will try to connect to the secondary device every time you turn them on. Moreover, that is disabling the LDAC feature and draining the battery much faster. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and received value, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like that, subscribe to our channel. And if you know somebody this video can help, please share this video with them. And I wish you the best of everything, lots of health, and I will see you in the next video.